So beyond Zoho CRM, um, there are a whole suite of other Zoho tools that you can use to do different parts of your business process. And the advantage of doing these things within the Zoho uh, ecosystem is that these apps talk to each other. So you can have um, these processes can, can build upon each other without having a whole bunch of admin work in between to move data around. So. The way that works in Zoho CRM is there's this tool called Zoho Finance. So this is basically a bridge between Zoho CRM and the finance suite of Zoho apps. So this does not come installed on uh, in a vanilla version of Zoho CRM, but it's it's quite easy to install, especially if you're working um, at the at the beginning of the business when you're um, when you have no data in one or both of these systems. So it's fairly straightforward to build this. You just need to make certain decisions about how your accounts and contacts are going to work. Um, which one of those is going to be functionally a customer in Zoho Books, and then uh, you're off to the races. So the advantage of this is, first of all, now you have your full CRM and you have your full accounting suite in Zoho Books. So Zoho Books can do all the, the standard accounting stuff, uh, you know, uh, not just sales, but all of your banking. Um, uh, you can connect your various accounts. Uh, you can do time tracking. You can do all the reporting that you might want to do, purchasing, uh, and of course, inventory. Uh, so th it does the full uh, range of different um, applications that you'd see in a classic piece of accounting software. Now, what Zoho CRM does when it when you install this finance suite is it adds these four um, modules within Zoho Finance, which are actually straight copies or not even copies. These are, you're looking at the same data that you're working with in Zoho Books. So if I were to go into my uh, invoices in Zoho Books, I've got this list. And um, of course this is all sample data, but you can see that. And then if you look at the same, if you look at invoices within uh, Zoho CRM, you have the same information. It's presented differently. There's some different filtering on it, but it is the same information. And if I go in here and make a change to this information, for example, uh, I'm going to edit the uh, order number here. I'm going to add the seven on the end there. And that, that's, uh, that's changed. Now, if I go back into my invoices within Zoho Books and just refresh this screen, you can see this one toes that, yeah, so the order number has changed. So you can do that with any of the information uh, within an invoice or uh, any of those um, modules that are shared between the two centers. And the information is uh, very much, it's, it's the same information. You're not looking at a system that's copying um, data from one database to another. These are, they're both um, windows on the same database. Now, um, so the advantages of doing it this way are, are a few different things. So first of all, if you want your sales team to be generating these kinds of documents, your, your invoices, your estimates, your sales orders, you don't want them having to log into a separate app in order to do that. I mean, it, it is possible to do that and you can have it on a couple different tabs and it's fairly straightforward, but it's, it's even easier if you just have it all within the, the one app and I just go to Zoho Finance and I do my my estimates, my invoices and all this stuff. Another advantage is that it's um, connecting straight into your existing sales process. So once you have done your, your, your prospect qualification, uh, you have your contact, you've moved it to a deal, now you want to send them an estimate, you can do that straight from the, the, uh, the record. So you, you look at your customer uh, in the accounts and you want to do an estimate, well, you just click on Zoho Finance here and you say new estimate. And so now I'm creating an estimate for my HK trading company. Uh, and then I can put in all the information, the item details. Now these item details are gonna come straight from, in, from Zoho Books. And actually there's another Zoho app called Zoho Inventory. Um, so I can go into here in Zoho Books and you know I can do certain things with my inventory. I can I can uh, you know uh, edit certain information. I can create transactions around for sure. 
Um, but in Zoho inventory, again, you're looking at the same data, but it has a much more robust set of tools that you can use to, to work with that data. So you can create aggregate items, you can do things with, you know, um, expiry dates and, and, you know, batches and all the, all the stuff you, you'd want to do, you know, different warehouses, uh, different locations, uh, you know, uh, order, uh, you know, order levels, all that stuff. Um, and so, you know, while you can inter interact with items in Zoho Books and Zoho CRM, you, you get a lot more tools to interact with them in Zoho Inventory. But then, so when I am uh, go in here and I uh, add the item, um, all of this information is pulling straight from it's it's the same same information that is that is uh, in Zoho uh, books in Zoho inventory. So um, if uh, you know the the um, inventory was overstocked on an item and they wanted to mark the price down, uh, that would be reflected immediately uh, on the next invoice or uh, on the next estimate that um, sales is creating. Or if an item was out of stock and they, they were having difficulty getting new stock, that would again you could you could have a alert show up to the salesperson when they're creating estimates when they're creating um, invoices uh, here. So all of these tools talk to each other, but each of them has its own specialty. So you can have um, different different team members working with the same data to do their jobs, uh, but then they don't need to see. Uh, other pieces of data. Another advantage of this system is that you know your salespeople don't need a login to books, so they would just have access to the CRM. They would never have to leave it, and uh, any information in Zoho Books, like uh, customer account information, uh, money information, that you know you don't necessarily want the salespeople to have access to, or you don't want them opening that information up in front of a customer if you're if you're if you're operating a uh, a bricks and mortar storefront and you have a uh, a desktop and people are, are looking at information you don't necessarily want your salespeople to be able to open up you know a price list or or information about competitors or anything like that in front of of customers so you wouldn't you you could restrict that information by simply simply not having salespeople have access to Zoho Books at all. They could do everything they need to do uh, in this finance suite, uh, all within the CRM. So that's, uh, that's the connection between uh, Zoho Books and Zoho CRM.